guys, what's going on? Me and Ass back with a brand new video, and today I'm doing a review of a Lego Stars Imperial Armor Marauder. This set is from The Mandalorian. It is quite a cool set from season two. This is a very cool set. It's just very cool overall. Anyway, shall we get started? So first thing I want to say is minifigures are not accurate to the scene whatsoever. It should have that weird blue guy. I can't remember his name. Should have Mando, Cara Dune, and Grief Karga. But the minifigures aren't accurate to the scene, but they're better. So this set originally retailed for thirty-five pounds. Now I only got one of these, but I really wanted to get two of them because another one, right? You get two Imperial Stormtroopers. These are the same. I'll get these out of the way. So this is the twenty-nine version, better helmet, that was better looking, but worse functionality, and lots of people hate it. It's a cool torso. Nice leg printing, it's just a Stormtrooper, nothing special. Black lining and bomb. It's cool, nothing special, it's just Stormtrooper. You get two of those, which is good for building an army. You also, not accurate to have seen, get a Mortar Trooper. It's got weird pulgin thing on the shoulder. It's got backpack, it's quite cool looking. It did come with a Mortar, but I lost it. I know, it's awful, terrible. But it's a cool figure, no, nonetheless. It's a really cool minifigure, like, really cool. And I really like it. It's an amazing minifigure. Like, it's 10 out of 10, whatever you want to say. It's really cool. I really, really like this minifigure. It's got yellow printing. It's got a little, little yellow box there, if you look underneath. But it's quite cool. Yellow printing all round. It's very cool. Also, this is one of the first sets to do it where the Imperial Troopers didn't have angry clone faces. Okay, anyway, moving on is Grief Cargo. That's, he's got double dual pistols. He's got cool robes. He's got a bit of gold shown there through the legs and whatnot. He's got a chain and cross it. That's a brooch almost. Got no toe printing, no arm printing. It's red, but no printing. Just got Grief Cargo's face, men obviously. You've got a second face behind the hair. No, you haven't actually. Oh, oh yeah, you don't, do you? Because um, yeah. Anyway, this is a cool figure. Anyway, let's go to the actual set. So, you have a stud shooter on each side. You have this thing, which I literally, you take out one bit and it can go 360. If you have a set, you'd know, but it's, you can take this off really easy. It's like a little notch thing here. I literally just took it off and now it spins 360. I'm pretty sure ages ago, like ages ago, I did a video on the mod I did to this. Anyway, so what you can do is you can open this up. This is where you see a minifigure. In fact, let's do that. Now that we've got a minifigure in, you can see Grief Gaga. We can show you that there's a control panel built onto this wall. And it sits right under the hands. It's really hard to get a view there. Yeah, it's not good camera. But it goes right there. Sits in nicely back on it can close now you can see outside roof cargo's top of his head out front and out the other side but yeah it's a cool set um now moving back a bit you've got this this is where you can put spare studs for the green or even hit one of his pistols if you wanted to you got yeah you like that closed now moving on here you've got this little panel which you may notice can open up now this is a bit temperamental, but let's get figures in the seats. All right, the minifigures are now sat in. You can see a stormtrooper, and then the mortar trooper special seat behind, which is done. And let me make it clear: this is really hard to get your hand in and sit figures down. And I'm a kid, so imagine how hard it is for an adult. And also, this piece has cracked just over time because of, um, the strain of being there. But to the point where I recommend literally getting your finger underneath here and just pull it, pull it up. Then here, like that. And also make sure to take these side bits off because they hinder you a lot. Then you've got much better access getting in here, especially up front here. But the way you put it back on is you literally get these two bits, put them like there, there. Sometimes this decides to come off like this. Not usually, but sometimes you can just. Oh, I'm having issues now. Good God. 
There you go. You can just put that back on. But then, with this, you literally just line it up. Right up against there. Well, it's, some, it's also much easier to yank. Come on, one hand it. There you go, yank that off. Well, that's one too far back. Is it? That's underneath. Oh, God. No, just cut to it. Anyway, after that whole nightmare was done, it's back on nice and cleanly. Got troopers inside. It wasn't mad if I just had to get a second hand in there. Now, down to this turret. This can open down. It's um, got a seat in there. Clear tube. That spins here, as you can see. You can see the trooper. It's got blue, um, it's easier just hold it up like this while you review it. Blue thrusts, blue thrusts. It's got weird side bits. Now, if you close, if you look up there, you can actually see a red thing. But if you close it, you can see out there, there, there. Now, before we actually go into what that is, so we've got a few bits on each side. Th these are identical on each side. You've got a storage crate. Got the Imperial logo, some arrow -esque writing. This is where you can store anything that you could be transporting or whatever. Okay. At to um, get my teeth in there because I didn't have a second hand. You can put something in there. Close it and then slide it on. In. Slide it. Slide it in up here. This set retail for 35 quid. It's retired now, unfortunately. Now, this thing here, this can spin. It's supposed to be a blaster. It can spin. It's on the other side, too. Now, right here, this is a door. You open it up like that and lower it down like that, and they're supposed to be able to walk out. But a minifigure can't actually fit through the door. You have to, like, lean them back. It's also on the other side, but you lift that up, so like that, and close the door down. Anyway, I'm going to see a minifigure in there. Now we've got a minifigure in there, lift that up. You can see this is the only minifigure we have left in the set. But you could get an Imperial Gunner, then an ATDP pilot, and then whatever you want. Two normal shot troopers in the middle if you have them. I do, but this is just what comes in the set. There you go, you can spin 360. You can spin him around facing forwards if you want. But it's cool. It's a solid one. This is really loose. But this is quite old, which is why that's nice and loose. But, yeah. It's a good set. You also have these weapons left over, but, yeah. Anyway, I recommend buying, but it's retired. So, that's unfortunate. But I would recommend buying, because it's a great army build. I would have bought two, maybe three. But, yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace.